And Mr. Bitwell? Uh, Biltwell is a, uh, one of the uh, sponsors uh, for a ride that we did down to Mexico, and a bunch of guys got together and built motorcycles for a specific reason, just to ride into Mexico on, on home-built bikes. Uh -huh. And this is what I came up with. It's a 1978 Harley-Davidson shovel head that I uh, cut the frame and added a rigid rear section. And, you know, basically everything on the bike is uh, either hand-built by me or modified by me in some way. I built the exhaust. I built the seat. Modified the carburation. You know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Did you ride it to uh, Washington, D.C. for the... Uh no, I did not. I, I, that's a long trip, and I just can't, can't take that type of work time off of work. Maybe next year I'll go for the... Uh, because it's kind of stiff, huh? Well, no, no, I have my <laughs> other bike. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind taking this one around across country, but it would take a lot longer than it would take on my more modern motorcycle. Let's, let's cheat your face. <laughs> Over here? You want to... <laughs> you down? But, uh, yeah, that's uh, basically it. You know, it's a, it's, it's a home-built motorcycle. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of it. You know, I, uh... Did you do all the painting? I mean, this little black color? Actually, yeah, I did the paint, but the paint is only a spray can that I put that on there just so it wouldn't rust on the uh, trip into Mexico. We went down the West Coast, went over the Baja Peninsula, and stayed a few days in San Felipe. And so, uh, when I started, this was all bare metal. So, but yeah, I did the paint. I did, uh, you know, basically everything. I built the wheels from scratch. I've got all the components and built the wheels. Holy mackerel, that's just a lot of work. Uh, does it, uh, didn't these old shovel heads, didn't they leak oil? Uh, well, you know, uh, originally they did. When AMF, if you'll notice, I don't know, camera can't see this, but there's a AMF sticker on my bike. They took over the Harley Davidson factory for a few years, actually about 20 years. But AMF was never a motorcycle builder, you know, and so, the quality that came out during those years wasn't the best. However, it's a 78. It's been around now. We're going on, what are we talking here, 30 years. So, uh, you know, in those 30 years, the owners of this motorcycle, including myself, have gone through and corrected any small issues. And they were small issues of uh, bolts that weren't quite tight enough. Uh, there's new technology in seals and gaskets and things like that that we use nowadays. So. So, so that's really cool. It's uh, an upgraded uh, old machine. Yeah, yeah, and anything that you see this old is probably going to be upgraded. Uh, you know, an original uh, configuration from the factory, they're not running very well. So does it have a digital starter? <laughs> it's, no, it's 100% it's analog. <laughs> well, that's it, it, damn cool. <laughs> it's, it's kick only. You know, the idea was to uh, build a uh, bare-bones bike. that has very few accoutrements, you know, very few... Uh, soft parts on it as it were but you can't really it's not a a dirt bike or anything like that so down in baja wasn't that a little rough yeah yeah <laughs> yeah Liza, baja actually offered us about a 70 mile stretch of some of the worst roads i've ever seen in my life potholes and potholes and caverns and caves and you know anything you could possibly believe that shouldn't belong in the middle of a road <laughs> we went through on these things cool and your name is again i'm fredo Fred Owen. I'm Fred Barajas, San Diego, California, biker and photographer. Go for it. Afraid of.
see you later, Jack. So long, Freedom.